What's going on guys? Welcome back. What we're doing today is our first modification to our all new 2021 F-150. And of course, what that modification is gonna be is a Tanu cover. Pretty much everybody's first mod, but it's a Tiger soft cover. This one only cost me like $200 on Amazon. So I took a risk and I, I, I'm just very curious. The reviews were good. We're gonna find out. I wanna bring you this video because we're gonna find out, is this worth it? Did I waste 200 bucks? Do I need to do an Amazon return claim? I don't know. Our first mod, there's some other things that are also coming uh, to this. Stay tuned. By the way, guys, I mean, the Mustang is obviously still here. We're gonna get back on track as far as content with this goes, but uh, speaking of which, we have Mustang Week coming up here in just a few days. I hope to see all of you guys there. Of course, the Red Queen, our supercharged 19 Mustang GT, you know will be there obviously so this is a big key factor to be able to tow this mustang around and yes finally we bought excuse my messy garage we bought a trailer yeah that's right finally this is uh something i've been wanting for a long time we've needed one and nothing super fancy here except that it is a 20 footer and i'm very excited to be able to tow finally our 19 mustang around and uh go to race tracks and do stuff like that it's always good to have some kind of you know a support vehicle one of the cool things about the f-150 my dog you came out of the what's up yosh you came out of the backyard you trying to run away come on let's get you back inside come on there you go buddy um anyway so this is a tiger i think that uh, for 200 bucks hopefully you know we get our money's worth and it's not a uh, hunk of junk so we'll be able to cover all that in today's video but yeah guys this is our first modification definitely something that probably everybody's going to do when they buy a brand new truck and now we have a trailer but i'm loving the truck so far we've had it for just really a few days it's our xlt fx4 2021 this thing is definitely an eye catcher you get a lot of compliments on it so far already for a lot of people out there they absolutely love the 2021s and i'm so blessed to be able to have one now we have a trailer so excited but uh, all right we're gonna get to our install and review of our new tanu cover again subscribe stay tuned because we got more modifications for our f-150 on the way Oh, nice it comes in like a nice case far everything looks like it's very packaged it's packaged pretty well yeah i wasn't really sure what to expect as far as like the $200 Tanu cover that's also lockable. You know, it's better to just spend the money once, you know, cry, pay once, cry once kind of deal. But I mean, if this gets the job done for a reasonable cost and I can pass the, the knowledge and savings on to you guys, then uh, more the better, right? So here we go first look i mean so this is pretty cool right here so soft but i can tell you so far just looking at it a plus on packaging uh, this is a nice kind of like a satin finish this uh vinyl these things are supposed to install really easy hopefully this video will be able to help you out if it does please drop a thumbs up on the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. You know, there's many different options out there, many different companies, but again, this is Amazon special, 200 bucks. We're gonna find out the end. Did we waste our money? Do we need to upgrade this, send this one back, or is it gonna be sufficient? I'm very excited to see the final results. So I'm gonna to get to installing it and then we're gonna come back for a review. Okay, so I'm starting to mock everything up to see how it fits. It's got these fancy like, um, I'm not, I don't know what they're called, J hooks or some kind of clamp. Anyway, what's cool is on the inside right here where it might rub up against anything, you can see that it's got like this soft foamy material uh, where it's gonna ride up along the uh the plastics here so you don't scratch up anything but it clips literally on the inside right there and of course you can slide these back and forth get your position it gives you a little play back and forth so once we lay the cover over this you know we'll get our final measurement where we actually want to tighten down but uh glad to see that uh you know even though we're not spending a lot of money we're still not really sacrificing it doesn't seem on quality here it also comes with this weather stripping here it comes with about this much excess here we're just going to cut as we need really cool too as we unwrap this it looks like we have a couple of these they're crossbars and they are detachable it seems to give some rigidity to the top so it doesn't slope down especially again talking about weather so hot cold hot cold you know things are going to expand and contract and uh you know we don't want this to sag over time right, next up is 
right under here so we have that back section remember we just put down the weather stripping now you have this area here it's got this shape to it and it's going to slide into the shape of this right here and then you'll screw it down so it kind of locks into place but how this works I already did the other side get this lined up and then it's going to probably take me two hands anyway that's going to slide in and it will be secure this will be flushed together and then uh, that will and then once we lock it down then we can get our final shape of how the rest of it's going to you know look and uh, where it's going to meet at the back end and then we can work on our locking uh, assembly and we're almost done with the install once we find the final position all right here we go i did take it for a drive obviously to pick this up and it does wave in the wind a little bit so we're going to reinstall those and should fix that issue but as far as fitment since uh, we have everything installed now, 100%. Um, looks like our weather lining back here is gonna work out perfectly fine. Hopefully we can get a good angle there. So, gonna be a non-issue. Uh, the way it clamps down, it looks like there's a gap here, but it actually pinches on the inside. So we should have no problem as far as weather, water getting inside of here. And it looks like it's just the shape of the truck. It's not completely symmetrical, straight, but that is just the angle of the truck. But as far as the kit goes, it is, you know, squared off. Now, when we have the tailgate closed, okay, everything is a good fit. I'm gonna, hopefully, hopefully the the sun will bake down on this a little bit and we'll see this stretch out just a little bit over time. My concern is if you see this gap right there, that if I were to spray this with water, so I can almost get my finger in here. So it could, it could leak. Will this settle over time as the, the heat, you know, kind of bakes this down a little bit? It's possible. What it might do is actually get some of that same weather stripping up there. And then what I might do is actually just kind of go over this area a little bit. I don't know if we're going to actually need to because I'm hoping that this will just sit down just a little bit more. And again, this is brand new, so it needs to stretch just a little bit and let the sun do its job. And I'm sure that we'll have no issue and this will settle back down. And the other benefit too is, like I said, with the tailgate locked, you cannot get into your bed here. The way that this operates to get into it. So some of them have these little clips. You have to come over here and here, no big deal. You just have to go to two different places to uh, uh, unclip them. This one, you just grab down and yank real hard and on both sides, it comes up just like that, okay? Which is nice. So I've seen, like I said, more expensive ones for the three, four, five hundred dollar price range that don't have this little cable right here, which I think is nice. And then when you want to secure it, she just pops over like that, locks down, just like that. And so that's not gonna come up. Close your tailgate, boom done but again yeah we're gonna put in our supports and we should see a lot of this flex go away so i'm gonna do that right now come back show you what the finished product looks like all right so for example if it were rolled up you have your retaining straps here just make sure it's tight and then you have full access to your bed super simple the way this works is we're going it's in a u-shape down like this as it sits upside down but the benefit is as we roll the edge is going to rest on the, the outer part here on both sides. So that way, that way when we continue to roll, you have support here. So it's not going to hang down into the bed of the truck. Uh, and this is how the, uh, the bed mat obviously looks. Ford, nice and thick. If you didn't have a cover, I think this would be fine to run by itself because it's heavy enough. I don't think it's going to blow out. I mean, it's, it's probably 30 pounds, honestly. Okay, now we have our supports installed. Close the tailgate. Again, very secure. Nobody can get into it, but 
right here and right here so we have support we should see a lot less shake on the uh the road and have a little bit more strength also if it's raining it's not going to pull down because you have that little bit of concave so it's going to run off the sides again also to aid in uh you know weather prevention of water getting inside because it's going to run off so i think this is a solid product I do. I think this is a great looking product. Very happy with it. All right, so final look. Check it out. Must have mod. I think definitely worth the price. One of the first mods that many will do to their trucks and to our 2021, I think it looks great. I think it's a job well done, honestly, by Tiger. Is it gonna be completely waterproof? Uh, is it going to completely seal out all of the elements? I don't know. Time will tell. Let's stretch out just a little bit. And I think the back is going to sit maybe like another millimeter or two down as it stretches a little bit. But again, we have those cross braces um, to support any kind of sag or anything like that. Um, so I think it's a job well done. Do I think it's worth $200, you know, that I paid for it to 220 somewhere in that ballpark? I think, yes, I think it's definitely worth it to buy this over some of the other uh, competitors out there charging you know, two and three times the amount. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this product? Again, this is not like a, a paid sponsored video by any means. This is my own money that I paid for to buy this. And I was recommended to buy something more expensive. Decided to take the chance, spend $200 on Amazon, and this is the result. So I'm more than pleased, more than happy with it. Uh, I, I like the locking mechanism better on this one. Uh, the other ones I've seen that cost more also don't have that cross bracing, which I think is probably a must have if I'm being honest. So um, yeah, again, drop your comments down below. What do you think about it? And then like always, you know, subscribe, turn your bell notification on because more content, more mods on the way. And then yes, for all those that are wondering, this is gonna be getting some more love too. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. God bless all of you. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.